time now for your forewarn weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. All right, some heavy snow in New York, but here so far this week in Utah, pretty clear skies. But changes are going to be happening, Alana. Yes, we've been really quiet, but now we've got a series of systems that will take aim at the Beehive State. Great sunset coming from Cherry Peak. We've got clear conditions out there, but increasing cloud cover expected as we get through tonight. Awesome picture from Tibble Fork Reservoir. That snow on the mountains, well, that's going to increase a little bit. Chris Williams taking that one and sending it to weather at abc4.com. High pressure has been in control and we have this mild southwesterly flow. Line of clouds coming through with more on the way as we head into tonight. Changes are brewing and we'll start to see them as early as the morning commute tomorrow for portions of the Beehive State. 40s out there, 46 in Salt Lake, 53 in Provo, unseasonably warm for December and we will see those temperatures dipping and we will have more December-like numbers coming up in the next couple of days. 44 in Moab, Salt Lake warmer than Moab, Something's off. 63 in St. George. As we look at temperatures for the remainder of the evening along the Wasatch Front, we have quiet conditions and we'll stay dry. And you'll see those 40s as we get towards ABC4 News at 10 in the mid 40s. Still fairly mild. We do have increasing clouds and wet weather moving in for the overnight. It's going to be a valley rain, mountain snow setup. This is a weak system for our Thursday. It just opens the door for changes, which you notice on our high temperature trend. Above average for tomorrow, but then we dip with colder air and a northwest flow ushering that cold air into the state. We will rebound to seasonal norms by the close of the weekend, but wet weather is on the way and that is going to bring some impacts to you and your Friday. As we look at the upper level future cast, it actually shows that high pressure breaking down, which opens the door for a cold front to move in from the Pacific Northwest. Again, our Thursday system is weak, but it will knock down temperatures a few degrees. And then our Friday system, forewarning you, that looks like our best chance to get some valley and mountain accumulating snow. By the latter half of the weekend, another little dip with wet weather potential for Sunday into early Monday before high pressure will move in and take over. So that's the big picture so you understand why we're seeing what we're seeing. Let's get into precipitation potential. For tomorrow, looks best north of I-80. So we do think places like Cache Valley and the Ogden Valley could see wet weather and the northern mountains will do well. That tapers as we get towards Salt Lake County and into Utah County. But you can't rule out a rain shower because temperatures will be warm. The series of storms keeps us on our toes. Here we are by Thursday morning where that we've got that valley rain and mountain snow only expecting an inch or two for the high country there we see as that clears brief period of calm for tomorrow afternoon and evening but then we roll into friday where we have colder air coming from the northwest and that's when we get valley and mountain snow accumulation taking over so we know that system's dropping in we dry out briefly but our northwest flow will keep showers and benefits to the mountains when it comes to snow accumulation going we will dry out just temporarily on saturday but then again sunday looks like we have wet weather potential how much that's the big question and we want to let you know look at the mountains in northern Utah, the Wasatch Mountains and Cottonwoods could pick up anywhere from 8 to 16 inches. Generally speaking, northern mountains 5 to 10. Our central mountains will also get some accumulating snow. It just won't be as high as 5 to 10, closer to 4 to 8. As far as central valleys go, 1 or 2 inches. But the Wasatch Front could see anywhere from 1 to 4 as we get through our Friday. Our benches at 3 to 7 and our mountain valleys at 4 to 8. It's a quick hitter of a storm, but it comes in and you could be on the low end of these totals, but we will have cold air in place and that means valley snow potential is there for Friday. Regional forecast for tomorrow, cooler than the 50s we saw today. 47 in Salt Lake, 40s and 50s on the eastern side of the state, 60 in St. George. Speaking of Washington County, we see a steady temperature decline over the next several days. Hanukkah starts tomorrow with a high of 60, getting to the upper 40s by the weekend. As we check the Wasatch Front, we have active conditions and a more active pattern. Our weak Thursday system, really just an appetizer of what's to come for our Friday, and then maybe we get a little dessert as we roll into Sunday. Monday. We'll see what happens, and we, of course, will keep you posted. But snow in December, I say yes, please. Yes, yes and a little dessert. I feel we'll like take the dessert. Not. Everyone should take dessert. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Alana.